try and sit up straight. Spreadsheets. Spreadsheets and flowcharts and spoiling everyone's fun. That's me. There's one one instance of something and now and now I've got a reputation as having a mucky desk and I don't have a mucky desk. What do I do that's not work? I can't think of anything. <laughs> All I can think about is fountain. Uh... I don't want to be known for the guy who has a mucky desk. That's, I mean, that's nothing to be proud of. Um, and well, I've just ummed already, haven't I? Trying not to um and ah, which I do a lot. But, but I'm really nice, actually. <laughs> I'm not actually scary. <laughs> I can't call my mum and say, look at our great achievements. Oh, and by the way, I'm the guy with the mucky desk. They have a very polite way of saying uh, you just had a Marcus grenade thrown at you, which is generally I come in and fire lots of interesting strategic ideas at them, uh, probably when they're trying to get on with something else. When we started Fountain, none of the directors had a background in agencies. And I think at first we thought that that was a bit of a disadvantage, but I've come to see now that it was a huge advantage because what we've done is approach marketing with what's the best thing for the client, what's the best thing to get the outcomes, rather than being stuck in the ways that agencies have always worked. So we never ask a client, what's your budget? And then say, yes, we can spend it for you. The reason that we're able to produce such good results is because we will look at what may or may not be achieved at the outset of a campaign. And if we don't think it's going to work, we'll be utterly transparent with the client about that. And that's why, really, the projects that we work on, we achieve great success. Too many agencies focus on activities rather than outcomes. Um, one of our core values is being results driven and outcomes focused. We want to make sure that every action that we take is driving ourselves towards our clients' goals. A lot of people don't forecast up front in digital marketing, so every, this is very negative, um, every day there's millions of pounds wasted because people just run ads and hope for the best and I call that faith-based marketing. I, I mean I feel like that's kind of it. Forecasting. Okay. Forecasting. <laughs> um, the other is working on conversion rate optimization. I think that one thing that Fountain are doing that not many others are getting on board with yet is conversion rate optimization and starting with looking at how efficient a website is working before you start sending traffic to it. You can drive all the traffic in the world, but if your conversion rate isn't high enough, um, you're, you're not going to achieve the result. But if you want to get, um, you know, if you want to knock, knock it out of the ballpark, so to speak, um, you have to be constantly focusing on uh, increasing conversion rate, and that's what we do. Yeah? You like that? I love it. Okay, put it on my showreel, baby. You are amazing. Sorry, I was right. laughing around. So, we've had the chance to work with a number of fame clients, and that is cool, but the ones I really love are the sort of small ones that actually want to come in and disrupt an industry. And it's been really fun to help sort of, you know, small startups full of self doubt and nerves, but like forging ahead to help them take market share grow rapidly and become well-known names in their industry and that's what, what really excites us. Uh, we've had three of our clients exit in the last couple of years and helping them achieve their dreams has just been wonderful. Are you happy? Mm -hmm. okay. Mainly happy to not be sat here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>